Hi, we're reporting from the American Flats in outside of Carson City, Nevada, and we have Flagon over here in the leather jacket. We have Skip Fecal here to my left, and I am Boom Boom Gazaf. We're going to be um, talking about our reviews of Chips episode 318, which is titled Kidnap. So, yeah, let's go ahead. All right, let's okay. start it up. So go ahead and give your favorite punchline. Do you have one? So we're starting with our um, best line by Ponch. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and say your best line. By Thank you, Boom Boom. Um, I would say my favorite line uh, by Ponch in this episode is the blob and Godzilla. Um, that's probably my favorite line. Um, yeah, what about you? Well, that was a very good, a very good line, but <laughs> my favorite was after they switched the Rolls Royce for the Blue Station Wagon. And the, the old man kept saying over and over again, they took my wagon, they took my wagon. <laughs> and so Ponch says, will you tell me exactly what happened? And he said, well, they took my wagon. The third time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought that was very good. Uh, the best extra award, um, I gave it to the owner of the Blue Station Wagon. Okay, that's good. I think he was... His acting was, was very good, especially when he was in the trunk of the car, <laughs> acting like he was bound and gagged. Yeah, exactly. Going, mm, mm. but he didn't even have duct tape on his face. He was just, yeah, yeah. He was just that good of an actor. Yes, <laughs> muffled sound of the uh, trunk. <laughs> yeah. Well, that leads me to my best uh, extra. Um, he's a Hispanic guy who worked at the gas station um, who received a note from the two uh, young men, uh, Pete Costello and Ray Tarina. And uh, he's my favorite extra, I'd say. Yes. <laughs> Jess. <laughs> I, I really liked um, all the extras, and I think they were all the best. So Yeah, it was kind of hard to pick a winner <laughs> in that one. So the next one is um, best car that was wrecked, because we all know there's lots of car wrecks and chips. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and pass it along. Um, I would say mine's toward the tail end of the episode, uh, where Ponch and Dale's fender bender. Even though it wasn't really a wreck, uh, it still was damaged, and it was pretty funny to watch. Um, but definitely caused damage. How about you, buddy? Well, my, my favorite car that was wrecked was the 100-car uh, pileup. As <laughs> when when Dale realized that they were being chased, and he took off the road, you know, took off the exit. There was a million-car pileup, but nobody actually hit each other. Yes. And so that was probably my favorite car wreck, even though there wasn't really a wreck. It was, what are the chances? Yeah, what are, yeah, there was so much of a traffic jam, but nobody actually wrecked their car, and I thought that was really interesting. Yes. Uh, best chase music. My favorite is right at the beginning when uh, it was either Peter or Ray gave the Vulcan death grip to Dale and he put his foot to the floor and just the way that music started out was, it was unbelievable. I can't imagine a better song yes. for, it, for Chips at all. That is a good okay. one. And uh, leads me to my uh, best chase music which is the same thing as Flagon said, the opening rolls, chase scene, how you call it. And the uh, music started up really, really quickly and uh, kept on going. So how about you? Same, same thing. It was like um, jolly chase music, and I thought it was really, really good. So that takes us to your favorite off-duty moment. Actually, you can skip that one. Yeah, in this, one in this episode, they didn't have one. All right. Do you guys have a favorite on-duty? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So what's your favorite on-duty moment? Uh, my favorite on-duty moment um, is taking the Hispanic guy's car uh, that Ponch uh, borrowed. Proceeded to chase uh, Dale and, and Lloyd with that with that car. The fuzzy car. Yeah, the fuzzy, fuzzy uh, car. pink car that played. Uh, uh, what was the name of that? Like Cucaracha. 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 That's right. Yeah, I think uh, along those same lines, my favorite on-duty moment was Ponch driving that car, honking the La Cucaracha, <laughs> which over and over. everybody in the city of Los Angeles could hear, <laughs> figure out exactly where he was at, and even the old man didn't find it odd that he was honking that horn over and over again. So, but my favorite on-duty moment, of course, was Ponch honking the Cucaracha. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Best Deep Thought by Baker. Oh, that's a good one. There, there was a lot, but the one that I saved off here was uh, What a Kid Brother Thinks is Funny Sometimes Gives a Kid Sister Fits, huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really understand. Was that lady his sister? That no. was his mom, so. Oh, right? that was his yeah. mom? Or was that the news reporter? It was uh, Pete Costello's mom. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah he was talking yeah. about his sister. So there was no <laughs> sister didn't make any sense. There's no, there yeah. no relation between the two of them. There's no yeah. relation, so. But Baker always does that. So. Yeah. For that one, um, Flagon took my one, but that's probably the best one I could think of. Must have meant how good it was. Yeah, it definitely stood out. But uh, how about you? Um, that, that was a good one. That, I didn't really put one down for that. So, but now that you guys talk about it, 
it's kind of weird. Um, so the next category we'll discuss is estimated estimated money spent on wrecking cars. extra dollars for that 100 car pile up where nobody actually <laughs> crashed into each other just for time loss. It's good, it's good. Uh, scene with the tightest pants. I actually didn't even see any tight pants in this episode. Did you get any? Well, I had one. Um, basically anytime Ponch and John have their uniforms on, they're pretty tight. So I had the opening scene of Ponch and John at the courthouse uh, before they hand to Dale and Lloyd being delivered. Mm -hmm. um, that was my favorite tight pants scene. How about you? Same thing, when they wear their uniforms. Um, they're tight, and yeah. they usually, as episodes go on, they get progressively tighter on Ponch. So, <laughs> yes. I guess we're just supposed to Especially in the, yeah. see all that. So. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is Favorite Botched Attempt at Authentic Spanish. And I put, um, when Ponch is talking to the mechanic, and there's quite an exchange in Spanish, Spanish, and a lot of it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, and then Ponch gets an accent. Yeah. Um, with his English. Yeah. <laughs> it's really bad. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I just took like one word, it was like red, and that was about it. <laughs> Everything else was just gibberish, oh. I think. Um, yeah, just kind of a funny, he makes up on his own Spanish as he goes, I, I think. But uh, how about you, Mike? What do you think about that? Well, mine was more of a botched attempt at Spanglish. Because as he's driving that car, he's like, uh, all of a sudden he gets that accent. The accent comes back. Yeah. 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 Why don't we go get the tow car? <laughs> My fault, man. My, My fault, fault, man. I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so, I forgot. So, yeah. Forgot. Uh, let's see here. All kinds of apologies. <laughs> Most ridiculous line, even for chip standards. Well, in this one, I had to go with this one. It is his right to have a glass of water. It is in the Constitution. <laughs> So that was a, that was a good uh, good one too. But how about you? Um, pretty ridiculous. The, when the kid says that he wrote his essay on the freeways, and <laughs> <laughs> they both happened to write their essays on the freeways, and I just thought that was weird. So that takes us to favorite character name, and I'll let you guys take over. This is a no-brainer uh, for me, uh, Deal Sulkin, uh, probably the best name ever in the history of chips of all the episodes. It's such a great name and. Personally, my favorite character. Well, of course, I have to disagree with you on this one. <laughs> I don't know of anybody I've ever met in my entire life named Augie. That's or a any, normal name. I've never heard of anything named Augie in my life. Maybe a dog. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I had to go with Augie on this one. Uh, plus, he played such an important role in identifying the kids who were being kidnapped. Pal. Uh. Augie and his pal, too. Um, I think we're running short on time for this episode, so we're going to skip down to best villain. And for that one, of course, I have to give this to Del Sulkin. He's, he, you know, Timothy Aguilera. <laughs> Carrie is such a good actor, and the Del Sulkin role was perfect for him. So I was really, really happy to see how great of a performance Del Sulkin gave. For mine, I'd say Dale. Um, the next one would be close second would be anyone who gives Prince a hard time. It's probably my, my second favorite, uh, my second favorite villain. Um, yeah. I also Del Sulkin. It's um, unanimous. Special. So um, the last question we're going to do is, um, what did Ponch demonstrate he's an expert at? Um, I put he was demonstrating he was an expert at being Hispanic. I put poor Spanish. <laughs>